To demonstrate the technique of adding a reset button to a project, we're going to add one to this SAS revenue growth model. Now this model, the outputs are all calculated in this main sheet here, the main model, but the factors driving that are all he listed here in this second sheet called factors. And each of these values is controlled by one of these input controls on the project. So if I come in here and debug, we'll notice, for example, the MPS is 70, but if I pull it down, then it's going down to 28 to match those. So what we want to be able to do is when the user has changed those controls, we're going to be able to reset it back to these values here. So we're going to need the initial reset values. I'll just put a title on there and then copy those values into there. Control C, Control V. So we've now got the, the reset values that we want there. And so when the user clicks a button, we want to move these into this section here to drive the model with the base values. So what I can come in here, I can add a data mover from there. And it's just going to be a block move. And the source is going to be these values here. And the destination is going to be these values here. Um, and that's going to happen whenever um, this trigger cell changes. So we're going to bind it up to this cell here. That's the, going to be the trigger cell. I'll just make that yellow and label it. And the trigger value. And we're going to have a push button on here. So you go down at the bottom, which is going to spark that data mover. So we put that on there. Uh, maybe change its label to reset. And then it's it's going to move when it's pushed. Its source data will be this empty cell, and its destination data will be this destination cell will be this um, trigger cell here. So what you'll notice, uh, let's put an, an initial value in there of zero. So if I debug now, then when I click the reset button, this value will go empty because this cell's been copied over. But then when I click it again, it doesn't change so it won't trigger the, the the data mover it'll only trigger it the first time when it goes from zero to empty now we want it to happen every time the reset is clicked so what we need to do is put in here a little formula which says if this is zero um, equals zero then one otherwise zero so this just takes an opposite value to that so now what you'll see is when i debug then when i first time i click it that changes to one then i click it it changes to zero then i click it, it changes to one so every time i click this this cell is changing. And that's enough now because that cell changing triggers that data mover which moves these values to there. So if we move this down here, we'll see that if we change this, so let's change it to 16 and a half thousand, move that down, move, let's move all these to zero so it's clear what's going on. So we do all of that. Now if I click reset, those initial values are all copied back into the um, the numbers driving the model and so they're all reset to their initial value. We can see that happening here. Um, if we come down and sort of look, let's say, well, actually, first of all, let's change these. So I'm going to put that as 18. And so that's 18 there. Add click cost is um, 149, which is rounded to one in there. Um, for, so these are, are different. If I come down, when I push this, it sparks the data mover, which moves these values into there. So if you keep your eye on this 15,000, this one and this four, they're going to change to that when I click that. And hey presto, they've all changed, which is then reflected in the model. So that button will now reset back to these values whenever it's pushed.